Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building another steam locomotive here and we're going to be building Sierra Railway number three. And this is a 460 steam locomotive and it's very famous. It's been nicknamed the movie star locomotive as it's just been in so many movies and TV shows going all the way back to the 1920s. And it's probably most famous for being in Back to the Future Part 3 as the locomotive that pushed the DeLorean in that movie. So this is what it looks like. So let's get right into the build. So we're gonna start off on the front and take out some deep slate tile stairs. We're gonna come down on bottom and put three across the middle of the tracks. Behind it, three upside down stairs facing backwards. Then up here, one forward facing stair and a sideways facing stair on either side so it wraps around the corners. Then put a dark oak stair on the middle top like this. And come over here and put a fence gate on the side. Then we're gonna put a black stone brick slab on this bottom corner and on this bottom corner. Then we'll come behind this and take out black stone brick walls. And we're gonna put a column of two on this side, then two on this side, and three across the top middle here. Then we'll come on the front of it, and we're gonna put a mangrove sign in this corner and on this side. Then we'll swing around behind this. And we're gonna do our pilot wheels here. So we're gonna take out netherite for the wheels right behind this. We're gonna put a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Behind it on the upper hip box, two rows of three deep slate brick slabs. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Go through and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels, and then two bend skates on the middle of each side. Then we'll take out netherite again, and we're gonna come on the top center of this pilot truck here, above the middle two slabs, and we're gonna do a two by two of netherite in the center. Then, right here, a black stone brick slab. Then take out your black stone brick walls, put two here on top, and two on this side on the top. Then up here, we're gonna put two nether brick fences on the top like this. And then two up here on this side. Come underneath those fences and we're gonna put two dark oak trap doors on the bottom of the two fences. And then same thing over here, put two trap doors on the bottom of the fences on this side as well. Now we'll do the pistons. So right here, we're gonna do a two by two of polished black stone block, two wither skeleton skulls on the front, and a polished black stone slab on top of the back. Same thing here, two by two of polished black stone right here, two wither skeleton skulls up here, and a slab here. Then we're gonna come behind this on the next block back on the bottom middle, and we need to come up on the second layer with a block of netherite like this. So it's kitty corner up from these wheels. And then we're gonna turn that into a line of netherite down the middle. That will be 13 blocks long in total. So a row of 13, just like that. Now come on the third block in from the front of this netherite and do back-to-back -back polished deep slate stairs. Then skip one and another set of back-to-back -back stairs for the driving wheels. Copy them exactly across to this side. So there's two blocks of space at the front. Then we're gonna come to the back of this line of netherite, one block in from the end, and do one set of back-to-back -back stairs here and on this side. Then we'll come back through underneath it with upside-down stairs, and we're gonna fill in back-to-back upside-down stairs under all six of these wheels so that all of them get rounded off here. Just like that. Now come on top of the back and put four netherite here and a cobble deep slate wall in front of it. Then we're gonna come up and around this wheel like this with cobble deep slate wall. And then same thing on this side here. Then we'll move forward here, still using our cobble deep slate wall. 
and we're gonna come up on the top in front of this wall and we're gonna come over two and down one so it makes this L shape like this do the same thing on this side and then one in this middle then we'll come up between these two front wheels and do a wall on each side like this three across the top then take out netherite and we're gonna put two netherite here and then four deep slate brick slabs here then we'll do the driving rods so we're gonna come off the bottom block on the back of the piston we're gonna put two smooth stone slabs here then move a hitbox down behind it and do three then behind that we're gonna move a hitbox down again on this level like that and bring it back till it's touching this back wheel then put a skeleton skull here here and right here then we're gonna do the same thing on this side so come off the piston two smooth stone slaps here then move a hitbox down and do three then we'll move a hitbox down again and we'll come back till it's touching the back wheel then a skeleton skull here here and right here then up here we're going to put two birch fences here and here then we're going to close a birch trap door on the back of the fences on each side and then we'll add one more birch fence on either side like this here and here now come on top of these two netherite blocks in the middle up here and do three polished deep slate like this then three upside down polished deep slate stairs facing outward on either side of it. On top of this, we're going to do three polished deep slate on either side and a redstone block on the front middle. Then three polished deep slate on the top middle, then three stairs here, and three stairs here. On top of the back, we're going to do a column of two polished deep slate blocks coming up right here. Then we're going to come on this redstone block and put a mangrove sign with the number three. And then hit that with yellow dye and a glowing sack and surround it with four stone buttons. Then on the top middle up here, we're gonna put a grindstone. Then we'll crouch and put a glow item frame on it. And then put a frog light inside the item frame. Then we're gonna come down on the side right here and we're gonna put two dark oak fence gates coming up diagonal like this. Do the same thing here. So one here and one here. Then we're going to put an oak sign here, come to this side, and put an oak sign right here. Now come on top of the back, and at the back we're going to do a 3 by 4 of netherite on the top middle back here. Then we're going to come in and grab iron trap doors here. And we're gonna come on the upper hitbox of the next block down and put four iron trap doors right here. And then four on this side. Above that, we're gonna do four black wool on either side up here. And then we'll do another layer of four black wool on each side. Then at the front, we're gonna put an inward facing black stone brick stair on either side. Then we're gonna open a crimson trap door this way, then this way. Then same thing on this side here. Then at the very back, a black stone brick wall on either side. Then up here, four outward facing black stone brick stairs across the top of each side. Then on top of the back, we're gonna go five wide with black stone brick slabs on top. Then three black wool across here, one on each side, and two rows of three. Finally, put an oak trap door in this hole. Then swing down behind the cab on bottom, put a dark oak slab here. Under it, two dark oak fence gates like this. And we'll also put a fence gate on either side of the slab. Then, we're going to put a lightning rod here and here. Then on the bottom hitbox of this netherite, three trap doors across the middle here. Then we'll come up in front of the cab with black wool on this bottom middle and do a line of black wool all the way forward up to the smoke box. 
on the side of it. We'll do a full line of upside down black stone brick stairs. And a full line of upside down stairs on this side. Then on the next layer, we'll do a full line of black wool down each side until you're just in front of the cab here. Then a line of black wool down this top middle. Then at the back here in front of the cab, we're gonna put two black wool on this side, two on this side, and then fill the rest of this with black stone brick stairs facing outward on either side here, just like that. Now we're gonna come on top in front of the cab, two black wool in the middle here. On top of that, we're gonna put back to back black stone brick stairs. Then up here, we're gonna open an oak fence gate here and a sideways one in front of it. Then we'll skip a block forward on the center and put a skeleton skull. Then a dark oak fence gate on either side of that. Then a sideways fence gate here and here. Then skip one block forward from this, still on this top middle. And we're gonna put a single black wool and then a wither skeleton skull on top. Then skip a block forward again and put a bell on the top middle. Then we're gonna come down in this corner right here and we're gonna put a grindstone here. Then under it, a row of iron trap doors coming forward and stop right here before the smoke box. Then above here, we'll put five fence gates here. And above this, start right here and we're gonna do a full row of sideways chains coming forward and we're gonna bring that all the way up until it's aligned with the front of the smoke box up here. Then we're gonna come down underneath here where this gap is, and we're gonna put two skeleton skulls right here, and then go back to dark oak fence gates, and we're gonna put two fence gates right here. Then we have to do the other side. So we're gonna come over here Start right here with all your trap doors coming across. And then stop at the front of the black wall. Then a grindstone in this corner, and then five fence gates. Then above it, start right here, and we're gonna do a full row of sideways chains coming forward again. And that same thing, we're gonna bring it all the way up until it's aligned with the front of the smoke box. Then we'll come down here, put two skeleton skulls here, and two fence gates right here. Next, we'll do inside the cab. So come on inside here. And we're gonna put a black stone brick block on the bottom of each side, one on the top middle. Then a black stone brick stair facing outward here and here. Then we'll take out this block and this black wool behind here and replace both those with nether brick and light it on fire. Close the trap door here. Then put a lever here then we need one up on the top, middle up here. And then we'll put all your frames like this with recovery compasses. Turn around and put a stair on either side for the seats. Then come back outside and come up here. On the side of this block, put a dark oak sign with the number three. Then hit it with white dye and a glowing sack. Do the same thing on this side, so a sign here with the number three. Then hit it with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we're gonna work on the tender now, so we're gonna come down behind this on the bottom, and in the center, we're gonna add one more dark oak fence gate in the middle. Right here. Then right behind that, we're gonna do a set of netherite wheels with an in-rod axle. Then on the upper hitbox, two rows of three deep slate brick slabs, and another set of netherite wheels and an in-rod axle. Go through and put a wither skeleton skull on all four wheels. Then two fence gates on the side, and two on this side. Then we're gonna leave three empty blocks of space, and on the fourth block out, another set of netherite wheels and an end run axle. So there's three empty blocks between there. Then again, two rows of deep slate brick slabs up here, and another set of netherite wheels and an end run axle. Then put a wither skeleton skull on all four of these wheels, then two fence gates on the middle of each side. Then come up top with netherite on the center, come off this slab, go right down the middle till you're one block behind these back wheels. Then two black stone brick walls on either side up here. 
then come to the front of this netherite and two black stone brick walls on either side up here. Then we're going to put a fence gate on the side of the wall on either side up here and one on the wall on either side back here. Then come to the very back and stack a dark oak stair on this second middle block and under it we're going to put two fence gates on the bottom middle. Then we'll come up here on the upper hitbox and we're going to do two rows of black stone brick slabs coming across here end to end. And we'll do the same thing over here, so two rows of black stone brick slabs on the upper hitbox end to end on this side as well. Next we're going to take out black wool. We're going to come up here to the front of the tender and go five across right here. Then we're going to come down the outside edge with black wool and we're going to stop before these walls back here and then come across the back and then right back up this side here. Then grab some black carpet here, come to the very back and put five black carpet across here. Then we'll come up front and on this front middle we're going to add in two more rows of three black wool. Then one block from the front on top we're going to go two high with black wool and bring it down to the back. And then we'll come across the back two high right here and then come back up this side and then same thing we're going to stop one block before the front up here. Then on top of this, we're going to go all the way around the top of it with blackstone brick slabs. Then come to the back and put five more slabs sticking out across the back up here. Then come up in here and put a 2x2 two two of black shulker boxes right here and a 2x2 two two on this side. Behind it, we're going to do two rows of three black wool to cover this middle hole right here and then fill the whole top in here three wide with black wool. Then we're going to put a black stone brick slab on this back middle one block forward from the end right here. Then skip two and on the third one three polished black stone walls then two rows of three polished black stone block and a black stone brick slab on the middle up here. Then put a wither skeleton skull here and here and then back here put one here and here. Then we're going to come down on the back. On this left hand side put two fence gates and on the top middle a glow item frame with a frog light. Then take out iron bars on this back corner. Do a column of three. Three on this side. Come up to the front of the tender and do three iron bars here. And then two on the locomotive here. Do the same thing here. So two here and three here. Then we need to make a banner for our number. So we're going to come into a loom with a black banner and white die. Put a vertical on the right, then a horizontal on the middle, top, and bottom. Then surround it with a black border. Then we're going to come place this on the middle right here. Then one on the back middle and then one on the middle right here. Now we'll come on top of the smokestack here with the cobwebs and we'll just come back and up however you want your smoke to look. And just keep doing that till it looks good to you. So there we have it folks. We've completed Sierra Railways number three the movie star locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there.